Welcome back, everyone, at Nitro World Games 2022 in its new home on Australian soil this year here in beautiful downtown Brisbane, just off the banks of the Brisbane River, River here in Queensland inside the Suncorp Stadium. The sun has finally set, the lights are up. We've got one more event to cap off the night. It's the one everyone's been waiting for. It's the FMX Best Trick Final. Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Coleman. Now joined in the booth by none other than Travis Pastrana. And well, Trav, let's just talk about it and rip the Band-Aid off and get the cat out of the bag. Everyone's been talking about what we're going to see on social media. There's been some teasers, there's been some hits, so I'll let you throw it out there to the fans. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm scared for all of these guys. Everyone's <laughs> doing something they've never landed before. I mean, even, um, you know, top dog Scott Fitzgerald is Superman Seacrab indie front flip. We have seen that. Um, you know, a couple years ago, but he's, but Top Dog's never landed that. I mean, you got Adam Jones is the only American. He's starting off. I mean, he had an amazing pair of silver. I don't know what he is going to do uh, for this one, but I, you know, he might be the only rider that's going to land a trick tonight. And I, I, I really hope that everyone lands. And, and I've never been more nervous in my entire life, not competing, just looking at every single person. And uh, I mean, the height that they're getting on these ramps, and they're so big. They're just. It's just blowing my mind. There is so much buildup going into this and so much training and practice. And most of you have uh, probably seen some of this stuff going on on Instagram, but I'm not going to fully let the cat out of the bag just yet. We'll talk about it as we get closer to it. But right now, we're about to take a look back at some highlights from earlier in the week of what was going on here in training sessions. We had to do a bit of dodging in and out with the weather, but there were some big things going on here. See Harry Bing and J.O. Archer right there talking it over, looking at that massive moon booter ramp right there. What's in store, Travis? Well, Josh Sheehan have been hitting a ramp that was 40 foot tall, and these guys are hitting this moon booter, and they're going, I mean, it, it's huge. It's over 20 foot tall takeoff, uh, but they're trying to get around the competition setup, and I, you know, I, I just been telling these guys, I'm like, I don't think you can do it, but they're all built. I mean, these are the strongest guys you've ever seen in your life. You know, as a joke, um, Josh Sheehan and <laughs> um, Jacko, and uh, right there, Harry Bink go on to Australian Sparta, the Spartan <laughs> Games, and they win. They, these are some of the strongest human beings on the face of the earth. Harry's going for triple backflips in the rain, mind you. Like, look at that laid out double. That was the pinnacle of my career. And he's just laying it out, preparing to hit this vertical ramp, seven Gs on the takeoff, and spinning a triple in the rain. That's, that's me right there going, there's yeah. no, absolute, what did I just watch? The look on your face right there said it all. Yeah, but do you see how low they're getting the triple around? I'm just watching all the other events today when the guys are, are you know, they're kind of, they're crashing the triples on all the other events and people are going nuts when people land. I mean, a scooter best trick, a guy lands a triple backflip no-hander and it wins the event. They are going 10 times higher on dirt bikes that are 250 pounds doing a triple backflip. Seven Gs on the takeoff, bending handlebars, all, they're strapping their feet in. They are strapping their feet into the motorcycle. They cannot bail off. There is no out. It is all in. It is 100% commitment. Strongest guys you've ever met in your life. Just ripping these 250 pound bikes. They are the most modified. They're like factory, factory supercross motors trying to get the speed to get this thing to rotate. It's, it's it blew my mind. Yeah, and if you're watching this at home and you're thinking, oh, well, they're going to an airbag, that thing is not a safety net. It is far from safe. I mean, you can look and you can see how high they are in the air and then the impact. And then on top of that, you've got the weight of that bike. You got a job number one when it goes south is you got to bail out and get away from that. But thing. you can't bail out because your feet are locked in. Yeah. So J.O. Archer breaks his femur going to that flat airbag before. No one has ever even jumped this new jump to the landing because you got to go so high. And if you're not flipping, it doesn't work. And they're going to send it out here tonight for the fans here inside the Suncorp Stadium. It's our final event of the night out here. The weather threw us a curveball, but we're here. We're going to make it happen and possibly break history out here tonight as we move along through our final competition. Seven riders in the mix here in FMX Best Trick. Now, looking at the rule book, they're going to get two attempts, but you got to take them one right after the other. However, depending on what we see go on here tonight, Travis, you and I were talking about that. They're probably they're, you're, you're not, not going to take that second no, hit. If you land a triple backflip, if you land a, a front flip, dead body if you let any of the tricks that are these guys are going for you, 
you're not getting up to do another one. I mean, I hope they do, but this is nuts. Okay, so we're gonna start it off with Adam Jones. You saw him in the freestyle comp earlier tonight, and uh, you had said this before, like, what is Adam Jones gonna do? The guy has an awesome arsenal of right side up tricks, and he can also throw those into flip combos. USA, but Never USA. count this guy out. He always throws surprises at us. It's Adam Jones out of Reno, Nevada, starting us off here in FMX Best Trick. Probably one of your best all around riders, but here we go, Adam Jones hitting the ramp. I don't even know what he's gonna do. Oh, look at that. Dead body, backflip, absolutely awesome. Great extension. He's stoked. And to be fair, like, he is pretty consistent on all of his tricks. He knows he's got full extension. Uh, he knows he's got a, a pretty high score. He's going to get all the perfection scores. Um, you know, here he goes warming up on the other jump. But basically, this was a trick because he's looking down the list going, I don't know if anyone else is going to land tonight. I mean, play the safety card right there. And again, he's got other variations he can do. So again, if you're going to go for two attempts out here, you go one and then you go with your second attempt right there. So he's lining up for attempt number two here. Let's see if you get a replay of the first shot. Right I mean, this, we'll this is a moon booter. This is, you got to see this to even believe it. This ramp is so tall. They're going so high. And look at the extension, just holding it there. Um, you know, for 38 years old, I tell you what, he gets his knees through there. Absolutely awesome. Uh, he's definitely playing up the crowd. Look at, look at that extension. I mean, that is, that is beautiful. And that is about 55 feet off of the ground. In case you fears for reference, that's five and a half stories up. Uh, yeah. Puts that one through textbook right there. And he'll also, I mean, he's so dialed with that trick right there. I've actually seen him do that in shows time and time again right there. So he starts that off with an 81.66. The judges are working off of a 100-point scale here tonight, just like they did in FMX. So Adam Jones is under power for attempt number two. There we go, cliffhanger backflip. And you know Pat Bowden with the DOD, so they changed the format a little bit this year, but if you execute a trick that's not quite as difficult to its fullest extension, you can still score pretty high. Um, I, you know, it's not gonna score higher than, than anyone riding away, doesn't matter how poorly uh, with some of the other tricks, but his perfection is there. He's gonna go as high as he can. I mean, he's in the 80s. This is a solid score, and yeah, not trying to underplay this. This is not one of the coolest all. things I've ever seen, but the, the other stuff on this list is just, it's not even in video games. But that's the other thing too, is what you were talking about, the strategy card right there. If people aren't able to land their tricks and you get out there and you do two things to the level of what we just saw Adam do right there. So that could be enough to put you on the podium right there. It could be enough to win. Frankly, I'm just, I'm looking down these, there's, there's, okay. Big, never, two, I get it. These guys have never been gone to this landing before. So, I mean, this is awesome. I'm so stoked for Adam. He's riding the best I've ever seen him ride. He's crushing it. Um, you know, he's the only American in the field today, which is, such a big power swing. He's from, probably gonna yeah. laugh at me when I make this reference, but he's like a fine wine, Travis. He gets better with age. He does. No, but the power swing has gone to Aussie. I mean, they, these guys, I don't know what's in the water over here, but they're, you, they're all completely crazy. And uh, it's been awesome. So AJ throwing down one heck of a perfect run. 82.66, um, yeah. six, six, so he betters that on jump number two. So he jumps up by a full point right there. Adam Jones, you're having a great night, sir. I'm winning. He's winning, <laughs> USA, USA. That's the best part about being what? first in the lineup. No matter Crazy. what happens, you're still the top scorer. But again, just joking around there. Great, great job there. You got an 81.66 and an 82.66. So again, it's the better of your two scores. So consistency is the name of the game for that guy. He's already thrown the podium once out here tonight. Adam Jones, as we get set to take a look at another guy who's already found podium success here tonight. Josh Sheehan, winner of the FMX comp earlier. Now he's going to uh, showcase some skills here in Best Trick, Travis. Now, Josh Sheehan was robbed, kind of like I said, the DOD format. Uh, we had Pat Bowden go out and basically do the exact same jump that AJ just did. You know, it was absolutely perfect. It was amazing. Sheehan did the world's first double back flip, kiss of death, crashed on his first run, got off, barely rode it out the second time, uh, but he was so sketchy that they didn't get him the score. I think now the judging has been changed a little bit. Chuck Carruthers, your overall uh, head judge, has the, the, the right to change to basically whatever he sees, and I think you're going to see a double flip, kiss of death coming out of Josh Sheehan. We'll see if I'm right here. Okay, here we go. He's under power here for his first attempt. Oh, no, sorry. Double flip, no hander. Th okay, when you do a double back flip and you take your hands off, the centrifugal force is so strong that you actually have to wrap your, he's hooking his feet underneath the, uh, the shift cover right there. Um, it, I haven't seen anyone do a double back flip no hander without the bike going away from him. And he gets so much extension. Uh, that is one of the most difficult tricks you'll ever find. He threw one of those out in the FMX comp and he, he was almost like a Jacko called it. It was like, it was almost like he was standing up. I mean, 
Look how long he keeps the hands off the bars, and you still have to put uh, it back no. on it and yank for the rest of that rotation. My gosh, and if your bars go sideways at all, it, you know, they, they almost lock the bars completely straight, but if they go sideways, uh, it, it ejects you completely off. The bike starts spinning. The centrifugal force, or the uh, they basically the rotation force of the front tire, uh, if the bars go sideways, it's like instantly ejection. Uh, so for that to do that well is, uh, is pretty impressive. Um, and it's a super technical trick for Josh. This is, he, Josh is the only rider to ever land a triple backflip. He had that, but this is such a small ramp compared to what he did it on a 44 foot tall takeoff, 65 foot tall landing. And uh, he just didn't quite have the strength to get it around like these guys were. So Josh is gonna check in with an 86.33 right there on the double backflip, no hander. So again, with their two attempts, they line up, hit one. If they wanna take a second run, they can come back and do that. They come consecutively. So Josh is lining up to take Hit number two, do we see another double backflip combo here, Chapman? Possibly a 360 combo. Double backflip right there. That was, I mean, it was even better than the first time. I think what he was thinking is that the double backflip no-hander is so much more technical than the double backflip. He's already done that. So to do this better than anyone else in the world, to hold your hands off longer, uh, this was a really smart move by Josh, and it's actually, um, yeah, there we go. We got the Bilko in the house. <laughs> I was going to say, the Bilko worm is back. He's three for three on those out here tonight. But again, what a great night he's having. And uh, I mean, the fans absolutely loved him. He got out there and the way he was just playing to the crowd there in between each one of his seven hits there in the freestyle comp. Look how long he holds his hands up. Then you see him jump back on that throttle, speed up the rotation again. I, it's absolutely amazing how controlled he is with the double backflip. The amount of force that it's, it's he's putting on his toes to basically hold himself to that motorcycle is, uh, is pretty amazing. It's insane to, I mean, I've seen him do this time and time again for quite a while. I haven't and seen him do it that big. It's just amazing how easy it looks. I mean, he just makes it look so effortless right there. So it's going to be uh, three tenths of a point higher right there. 86.33 the first go around. He gets an 86.66 on his second attempt. So that is going to be the one that stands. So I mean, even a single flip uh, no-hander is, is actually a lot more difficult than, than it looks. It's super safe. <laughs> Josh, easy beat. Uh, it's, it's super amazing to see that, that he's able to do that in a double. I mean, we used to do doubles. It was everything that we could do to get him around. I mean, that was the pinnacle okay. of my career. Uh, now yeah. it's just, yeah. 2006, I mean, you terrified everybody before that happened inside the Staples Center at X Games. And then you rode away from that, and it was absolutely amazing. And the energy in that place, I mean, you couldn't describe it. And then now guys are doing that in practice before freestyle comps. I mean, you were the pioneer of that. Then you had Cam Sinclair come out a couple years later at X Fighters and do one in a freestyle comp, and it just kept building and building from there. But and they're warming up with double backflips. The I ramps know. are so much bigger. The, the riders, it's just, you know, there was, uh, you know, Olivia Reynolds, she's uh, 11 years old. A uh, girl came over to the house and started learning backflips. I'm like, what? Dude, you remember with Kerry Hart? I mean, he ends up marrying Pink because yeah. he tried a backflip. And now it's like everybody is just, the level has gotten so much bigger and so much crazier. It's just, it's, I remember at an X Fighters year, I mean, this goes back to 2013, and I watched Sheeny crash a double flip and get in qualifying. There's no one in the building, and he gets up and takes, like, just dusts it off like it's nothing, and then takes his second run. I mean, that's how far this has evolved from 2006 when you started that double backflip into motion. Now, this is the big air of action sports. You got Scott Fitzgerald. This is Top Dog. Um, just a really good friend of, of Harry Bank, of, of J.O. Archer. Um, you know, he's been around from the beginning. One of the best dudes you'd ever meet. And it, it's cool. It's seeing like our Willie Land and where all these guys that used to come to kind of my house uh, back in the U.S. Now, everyone's coming here to these Aussies guys' houses and they're, they're working with these ramps. I mean, uh, you know, that Josh right there, one of the guys with the mullets, um, you know, has been working with J.O. and working with all these guys to try to make sure the ramps are, are set up perfect. And um, it's amazing how far they're pushing all of their friends. So Scott Fitzgerald, uh, top dog we call him, uh, is going to try a front flip, seat grab, indie. Um, he's never ridden out before. Well, we're gonna let these guys work some ramps into play right there. The front flip assist ramp getting set up there by the grounds crew. We've got Scott Fitzgerald's best trick attempts coming up. We've got more Nitro World Games here at FMX Best Trick when we come back to the Suncorp Stadium here in downtown Brisbane. On most tricks, when someone else does it, someone else copies it. That's not going to happen with this trick. With the force, the height, 
you know, the, the speed and just so much energy in the air spinning. And how are you going to land that? To reach that is absolutely putting your life at risk. But you can't drop from outer space and expect to walk away from it unless you land on the wheels. Just seeing the footage of the, the triple flip to the bag, I mean, it just looks so violent and so many panic revs and so tucked up just to get that thing moving around. I don't really know what would possess anybody to want to do this. sixth and final event of the night. It's FMX Best Trick. We've got two runs, two rounds of runs in the books, I should say. Josh Sheehan sitting in that top spot as of right now, followed by Adam Jones. We've got Scott Fitzgerald due up next. But before we get to his two attempts, we send it down to the field with Caroline Buchanan. I'm down here with Adam Jones. We're getting to the pointy end of the night, what everyone has been waiting for. Talk about progression tonight. We're currently moving the ramps. What is going down? Well, everybody needs their own particular ramp for their own special trip that they're trick that they're doing. But uh, yeah, this is like the pinnacle of progression right now. I actually came into this weekend and I had no idea what half the guys were getting ready to do. So big surprise for me and uh, I'm really excited to see it. And let's talk about hype with this crowd. Yeah, you know, normally as the night goes on, you see the crowd really kind of thin out, but that's not happening tonight. So I think I know what everybody came here to see tonight. And that's, ironically, that's what I came here to see as well. And this is a historical moment. Give it up for the boys. I'm going to send it back to you guys. I like the energy there, Jones. He's like, uh, ironically, I came in here to see that as well. He's sitting in the number two spot as of right now. But uh, you're taking a look at uh, J.O. Archer right there. He is uh, one of our last two riders. Him and Harry Bink are going to close out this party here tonight. As uh, well, you saw some of the, you saw some teasers in that uh, video package that we ran uh, right before we uh, came back from break. And well, Travis and I were talking about it. We are uh, possibly going to see history in the making out here tonight, Trav. So J.O. Archer has been working. Uh, tirelessly basically to try to figure out how to get a ramp that he could rotate three flips that he could do w within a stadium within uh, the, the confines of not building a 65 foot you know mm -hmm. hill and landing um, and he made it happen and he worked with Harry Bink that's the coolest part about being over here all the guys are working together they're trying to figure everything out um, you know but Jay was welding his own ramp he said you know the guys at Black Rifle have been basically all the military guys have been coming down and being like how can we help you how can we get you stronger how can we get you more fit how can we um, work on these ramps what can we what technology can we add to your motorcycle and it's been this this progression unlike anything else well, there you go. They're, you're watching at home and you're not too familiar with the cast of characters here in FMX. That's J.O. right there with the uh, orange shoulders there on the jersey there. And uh, Harry Pink to the right there. They're talking it over with uh, Josh Sheehan, who's sitting in that top spot as of right now here in FMX Best Trick. But now we've got the front flip ramp into place there. And we are ready to bring in our next competitor out of Gold Coast. It's Scott Fitzgerald. Travis, as you said earlier, they call him Top Dog. Nitro World Games rookie competitor. Competitor. No stranger to the Nitro Circus live show here in Australia, though. And uh, one of the oldest in the field out here at 36. Yeah, well, Top Dog, he's uh, known for taking a, a, like a flyby. He's, uh, you know, requesting a flyby just uh, to kind of get a feel of it. I don't know if he might hit his right now. Uh, he might take uh, one little pass to kind of figure it out. Um, he's, oh, he's going for it. Nope, flyby. All right, there we go. He's trying to buzz the tower right there. So he's uh, going to come back but, and re-rack right there, just sizing it up. So again, they're just they're interchanging. That's why we had such a long delay between uh, Sheehan and uh, Top Dog here, because we had to move different ramps into play. So that's why we had the hold. So this is a front flip ramp. Uh, mixed reviews. It's basically like hitting a curb at the top of the ramp. It doesn't naturally do anything. It's one of the scariest things you'll ever do. It's hard to jump this jump normally. He's going to try a Superman C-Grab 
Indian Air front flip. He has never even jumped this front flip ramp to that landing. But he said, you know what? I got it dialed into the foam pit. I've tried it to the airbag. He did it in the rain. Uh, this is his first really major competition, but he's one of those guys that always throws down. He's always with the boys. He's always helping out. He's building his own ramps. I would love to see him ride out of this. This would, I don't think it would be a world's first. It'd be a world's first in competition, but I tell you what, Top Dog is ready to rock, and he nailed it in the rain. If he can do it then, I know he can do it right now. I mean, that's gotta be a confidence builder in itself right there, to get out there and do this in the rain and make it happen, but can he make it happen here when the judges are watching? Here we go, Scott Fitzgerald, first attempt. So you see, oh, he's under. Yeah, oh, he got it. it out. Yes. That was awesome. Top Dog, absolutely amazing. I, it's just so cool to see this guy. I mean, you have no idea how tough it is. You can do it to a foam pit, you can do it to an airbag, you can do it to, to whatever, but when you're out here in front of, you know, 20,000 people, live TV, you get no warm up. You can't warm up on that jump, you just gotta go for it. Especially it's the last event of the night and you've been sitting here all day long and these guys haven't had any practice since way earlier in the day. And I mean, I, I, I thought that was gonna go south. Yeah, which, I didn't think he, what, he, was a, he was a little under on the takeoff. He does not get the pop. He gets great extension, pulls it in, and tucks it right there at the end. Almost goes over the bars. Now, do you think he's going to go for a second one and try to do it better? Do you think he's going to go home and just uh, be happy he's, he's, uh, he's alive on this one? I don't know. Just look at that extension. Yeah, top dog. Watch the chest. He gets slammed <laughs> into a bar pad right there, and then just looks around like, yeah, I'm good. I made it. Hey, I'm going to say that was about as good as it could go. That was, it was an amazing extension. Oh. He rode out of it. Oh, great, great job, man. That's, uh, that's amazing to come into an environment like this and be able to pull it off. Uh, you know, that's the first time he's hit that ramp to a landing. That's, uh, that's really impressive. Is he going back into athlete staging or no? It looks like I'm going to block the plank here, Jack. He might be lining up for another tent. Yep, 89-3-3. That is a solid score. Uh, what, uh, she, what did uh, Sheeny get? Sheeny got an 86.66. Yeah. Hey, that so puts him ahead of Sheeny. That is awesome. So the front flip, the ramps, yeah, top dog. They call it the cheetah ramps. It's uh, mixed reviews. It was built for like a, a show ramp. It's still, so it, it basically helps you to do the front flip, but it's like doing a one and a half back flip. It's one of the most difficult things to land. It's one of the most difficult things to time, even to that airbag landing. I broke tip fib. Um, it is sketchy, and he just absolutely nailed it. Did not, uh, you know, he went full on the extension. He went, he didn't skip. No, extension was great, and he fought for that, every last bit of that, to ride that thing out and hang on. And uh, yeah, that, That's the ramp. So everyone comes out to my house, and they're like, I want to hit the automatic front flip ramp. And they hit it, and they get ejected, shot off the <laughs> motorcycle. Their bike breaks, and after they're like, oh, well, that's not easy. I'm like, yeah, who said it was? It's like I, hitting a curb. I've heard people describe that thing plenty of different ways, but for you to say it's like hitting a parking curb, that's a brand new one on me. So he's, th he's got the goggles off. He's taking the helmet off, so I'm going to go venture or guess it. Scott's happy with that. He's not going to take run at number two here, and he's going to sit that puts him in the first. Point three three, but look, look at, at that. it again. Great, he even looks over at the judges. Look at this, he pulls it around at the end. And yeah, music perfect on that. And he, he rides it out. He is leading. Tom Dog is leading. Nitro World Games, the front flip, Superman Seacraft, in here front flip. Uh, first time it's been uh, been written out, I believe, in a, in a competition. So this is uh, this is pretty cool. Look at, look at that smile. It's a little it. wobbly, but rolls out and hangs on right there. And uh, puts himself, so it's Fitzgerald, Sheehan, and Jones. Your top three as of right now, that 89.33. He says, one and done, I'm good. So he's gonna park it over there and watch the rest of this competition unfold out here tonight. Three down and four riders left to go. Travis, we are set to bring in uh, Jaden South. This, another this, Gold Coast team. Okay, th these guys, are, they're all so strong. When he steps through this bar, he said it's so hard to get through. He has to go like he's doing a, a double front flip or a two and a half front flip off the takeoff and then he stops everything, gets his lengthy legs through the, basically through the handlebars, it, no speed runs, he's gonna go straight into this. this. He's never landed this, he's never ridden away, it has never been done, it probably will never be done again. This could be one of the coolest things, this could be your night winner. Oh, he's been coming up a little short of rotation, he has to throw this like his life depends on it because it absolutely does. Stop the rotation, full extension, get your legs through, and then he's gotta figure out how to get back because he's gonna be in front of the motorcycle, 250 pound motorcycle, upside down. If he lands short or doesn't get his feet back through, it, it's it's over. I don't I don't care if airbag or no airbag. It's bad. <laughs> We're being told no run up to this one. He is just going to go straight for it here on this first attempt right here. It's Jaden South, Nitro World Games rookie competitor. Probably the coolest, most technical trick that you will ever see using the front flip ramp and just absolutely everything he can has to go into getting this rotation started and then he has to stop it to get his feet through. Let's see if he can do it. Nope. 
was actually really good. The extension was there, but just didn't have the rotation on that one. That's uh, the airbag looks soft. That is a, that's a hard landing coming down uh, pretty much on that bike. I was amazed at how far he was able to get that rotation. L look how many G-forces go on that landing. That bike's it's it's pretty bangled. Um, love to see that again and hopefully show the replay here soon. But he took oh, it's off. coming. He just didn't quite get the snap on that takeoff. He was thinking more about getting his feet through. Um, we've seen him come up short, but somehow he manhandled that motorcycle round and got it very very close. So. Let's take another look. Watch the pop right there. The extension, but just he's in a bad spot right there for that rotation. Look at him. Look at him hit. Oh, man, he got that thing really good there at the end. That's, that's a hard impact. He's a strong guy, but he just was thinking too much about getting his feet through. Did not quite get that at all. That's such a slam. And you're thinking, all right, airbag, but yeah, you bounced. I mean, you've got the full brunt of the impact on his entire back. Yeah, and then, like, I mean, you knew as soon as he took off from the limb. I mean, he, you oh, called it right did when he you hit see the Josh, limb. the track guy, was helping him just trick, belly flopped over the edge. But no, so you need, he goes, man, it's so hard because it's a three step trick. And I need to take off like I am doing, I'm going to over rotate a double front flip, like full Greg Duffy Moto Record Crew style. And he goes, if I don't do that, um, I'm not getting around, but then I have to stop everything and get my feet through. If I can't get my feet through, then I over-rotate the flip like it's a one and a half and I land straight to my head. So he needs to do, start the rotation for a double, stop the rotation, get your feet through, get your feet back through, and then pull the thing around. And I, sorry, I didn't mean to call that at the, the beginning. He just, he did not get that snap that looked like a double front flip hey, to me, but he apologize. still almost pulled it around. That's why you're in the booth, and that's why you get to call as the analyst for this, because you know, I mean, you're out there in the trenches, you do this. So, I mean, you saw it right out of the gate, but he still tried with everything that he had to fight to get I, I, that around. I can't believe how close he got on that. That is, and he didn't skip on the extension. These guys, these Aussies, they go for it. Once they're in their full commitment, Just did not quite get the extension, but man, I, I tell you, that's, it just worries me so much. He's going about one third the height that these guys are going to be going on the triples tonight, uh, and it's just the, the impact still on this landing is uh, is quite uh, it's it's impressive. That was that was still that was amazing. That was absolutely awesome. He got his shoulders through. He got his feet through. He didn't dislocate his shoulders. Like the amount of strength that it takes to pull your body through and then pull it back through and then continually rotate that around and it looks like Southie wants another go. I was just gonna ask you that like they're over there cranking away on that thing and trying to kick things into place like are they just trying to wheel that thing out of there or is he potentially thinking about trying this again? No he, these guys have no quit in them um, you know the bike's gonna be a little bit mangled but he knows what he did um, it, it's just it's really difficult because think about this as you're going up the takeoff if you commit to doing basically a double front flip rotation you have to then stop it somehow so if your feet get caught you do a one and a half you drop out of the sky you over rotate you land straight on your head so part of his body saying yes i want to rotate a double front flip off the takeoff so that i get my feet through and i stop it but if he catches his feet on the crossbar pad then that rotation does not slow down. He can't slow it down with his extension on the trick. And I mean, it's it's not good. It's, it's, a, it's a really bad situation. So he's got to look at that two ways. The safer option is to just make sure your feet get through. But if he wants to ride this out, if he wants a chance to win this competition, he's going to have to full commit on all three of the steps. You can see him right there trying to kick the right side of the bars in place and Harry Bink over there talking to him. What do you think Harry's telling him right now, Travis? Well, Harry did the rock solid front flip um, and his bike was bent up, he was banged up, but he got out there and went for it. The hardest part about this is he knows what he needs to do to land this, but the bike's not perfect. As you can see, he's, I mean, he's trying to bend everything back. It's still gonna be bent when he takes off, but Southie, no matter what this bike is, I think he's gonna throw those goggles on, and I think he's just going to full send it. And that's just the embodiment of that grit and that spirit right there, just wanting to make this happen, wanting it so bad right there. Again, I, you know, you didn't get the rotation around, but let's talk about the execution, and you keep hammering home the point about getting over the bars and getting back over the bars right there. Pulled that off perfectly. The extension was great. And still, even though he didn't have enough pop, and you called it right off the lip right there, he uh, just still tried to fight that I, thing I around and did not let go and was trying to just do everything in his power to will that one around. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> shows you, well, it shows you how good he actually is at doing front flips. 
because at the end of the day, kind of like our Willie and stuff, you know, when you see him do the front flip, bike flip, um, you're still stuck in the air really short, like where he's going to land straight upside down. And then he's able to get himself back on and restart the rotation of this 250 pound machine. And so right now, this is a sketchy situation. His bars are bent. That's going to make it harder for him to get his feet through the bars and back. But you know what? I think he's got this. I really think that adrenaline is going to help do everything. He's got the, the rear of his bike. Nothing is, is matched. Everything is sideways. But you know what? I, I got I got a dollar on it. I say he's got this. All right, I'll walk that plank with you. Let's put a dollar on He's got the helmet back on. The goggles are go. on. Can Jaden South pull this one off on attempt number two? And you see they got that bookmark kind of there off the side. And so all the guys have different spots. They kind of start. And they'll, uh, they'll mark that. They'll walk it out in practice and kind of say, OK, how far do I need to get this exactly the same as I have it at my home in practice? But you know, as he's flipping, he doesn't have a lot of those landmarks. All he can see, when you go up, all you can see is these bright lights. I mean, it looks like everything's bright, but it, you got, you're completely blind, completely black above us uh, on the Suncorp Stadium. And you're so blind looking into the lights. So it's just, it's just tough. Here we go, Travis. He's under power. Can he make it happen here in attempt number two? Let's go. Stuck. Uh oh Oh, so close. Oh my gosh, everything went wrong and he still almost pulled it off. I was going to say, he looked like he got hung up getting the feet over the bars. He got it, he fought through anyway, got him back over cleanly and still tried to fight to get that one around. Look how, I mean, if you think that's a soft landing, look at that motorcycle. It is completely uh, destroyed. Man, good to see him walk away from this. Good to see him up. Crowd going nuts. I don't even think the crowd understands how have technical that trick is especially for someone as tall as Southie is this is a guy that the, the hardest trick for him to do is gonna be a bar hop and we'll see it on this replay but he gets a little tangled up I mean you talked about it multiple times and we saw it happen but still even after all that fights gets the extension pulls him back he, he got a better so the snap was better right here he takes off he's got a better snap but see, he his just, heels got hung up yeah if his heels didn't get hung up on the way through and back through he would have ridden that out man that is heartbreaking to, to see that i didn't see him get caught on the way back at real time speed but now think about this if you're there and you get caught here you're stuck in front of the motorcycle just getting pounded like this is this is the sketchiest trick i've really seen tried it's it's amazing i'm so proud of him for getting this far I, Wow. Especially trying to do that with bent bars and all. So you got to give this guy props for the grit and determination to try this not once but twice. We'll send it down to Caroline, who's with Jaden now. We're down here with Jaden. First of all, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all good. Just a bit disappointed. <laughs> With that win or learn mindset out here, what are you going to take away from this? And will we see you attempt it again? Oh, I've definitely got to have another crack at that. The second run, my bike was so bent, I couldn't even, I felt like I was just riding full bent coming in. And I don't know, I just should have just got it around a little bit more. <laughs> Is there anyone that's been a part of this journey you'd love to thank? Yeah, I want to shout out to my mum for always supporting us. All these uh, fans, the management, just the track crew, just everyone that's come out to support us, friends, family, these are all absolutely amazing. Love is all, so thank you. Give it up for Jade and everybody. I'm going to send it back to you guys. Yeah, and you can see that you got torn up pretty good there sliding out. You can see the the marks on the back of the jersey right there, but uh, it's just so close, just getting the heels tapped on those bars on the way over and the way back. Yeah, but I mean, you know, when the bike's perfect, it's still tough. And when the bars are bent, it's just, it's so difficult. And then the conditions, it's everything's so tough. But, you know, here we go. Next up. So we've got Clinton Moore. Five X Games medals to his name. All of them are bronze. He's the 2015 X Fighters World Tour champion. Known for his flip combos and his burials. What do you think Clinton Moore is going to bring to the party out here tonight? Probably the Bundy from Bundaberg, Australia. This, uh, you know, well, maybe not. I, he's been really uh, close to the hip on what he's doing here. I expected him to go out and freestyle. I think he could have given a run. You know, Harry Bank, there's X J O. Uh, Clinton, all of these guys were expected to do freestyle, and when you know, big best trick got so um, the, so much hype, everyone just pulled out of uh, the freestyle run and said, you know what, I'm just going to go and I'm going to put in something that no one has ever seen. Uh, you know, Nitro World Games is the big air of action sport. Let's throw it. So he's going with a different ramp. And he's going with the, the Levi ramp, the next generation ramp. It looks like he's coming at it right now. He's not wasting any time. He's going right at it for first hit right there. Yep. 
body burial, really, really clean. That I mean, I can't believe he makes that look like that's that's something that we've tried to do for so many years, and there's very, very few people that are doing it. It's another day in the office on the body burial there for Clinton Moore, and uh, what's uh, now what? Now what well, he's, still, he's still got the Bundy. So I've seen a body burial. I think he might have been looking for a heel clicker after that, or a, a, another variation of that trick. That's what I was going to ask. Combo out of that possibly? Man, I. I'm just, maybe that's, a, maybe he's warming up. I'm, okay, don't get me wrong. This is one of the most difficult tricks you'll ever see done. But to back out of FMX, I know he's got something that he's thinking. I haven't, no one else in the world does a Bundy. I think this could be a warm up trick for that. I think it also could be a warm up for adding another trick. Maybe get that foundation down on the first one. Uh, I'd be surprised if he doesn't go for another second second run here. It was also interesting to me how quickly he went after it. Like, he didn't waste any time. He didn't stop and reset. He just came around, went under the caution tape, and just went full power to go into that. So we are about to find out what he's got in store here for attempt number two. You know, something you're not, uh, no one really thinks about, but these guys have been there. We, they practiced earlier today, six hours ago. And now, like, there he goes. He's getting hyped up. He's got his adrenaline up. Uh, everyone, you know, the crowd's here. They, no one's leaving the stands. It's, uh, you know, for a Monday, just huge thanks to, to everyone that's out there for, uh, for sticking around, for coming back another day uh, to see history go down in Nitro World Games. Yeah, Clinton's pumped. Something, something is going down here. I, I, I would assume it's a Bundy, you know, his signature trick, but this is, this is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Back under the caution tape. Taking a lap around to uh, greet the fans right there. He is under power here for attempt number two here. Second final jump for Clinton Moore. Bundy, get it! <laughs> Almost loops out of the landing. That is absolutely amazing. Only one in the world really pulling that off. And doesn't just do it. That was a one-handed Superman, basically. Halfway through the Bundy, that burial that he does. He is just hanging on by, like, his fingertips. Uh, absolutely amazing. A lot of strength. Uh, Solid, solid run. That is uh, definitely the most technical uh, any kind of body burial you can do. Uh, he's, he's known for the burials. Uh, very, very impressive run there. We actually didn't get a score for that first attempt, so we'll have to see how both of these jumps score Look, once we get through the Watch this, replays. watch this right here. He is just up in the air, almost doesn't get his hand back there, gets his feet back on. That is, that is, the extension on that was bigger than I've ever seen. Look at that the goon ride wheelie out of it. Yeah, where that left hand is. Look at this, right here, he is just, oh, he even went for oh, the poop bars. Oh. See the bars move oh. on that too? That was the most stylish body barrel I have ever seen. Look, he's in there, he's boot grabbing, he's doing the executioner while he's up there, and then he misses his hand on the way. How does he get back on this? Just last second with that left hand right there. And then the Ronnie Mac out of it. <laughs> oh, good, good work, good work, Cliff. That is awesome. 86.33 on his second run. Uh, top Dog still that, leading. I was going to say, Top Dog's in that top spot, followed by Josh Sheehan and now Clinton there in that number three spot. Yeah. So that second one was the favorite for the judges. So that's the higher of the two. So that's got him in podium contention as of right now. And well, now we're down to our final two riders in this event, Travis. And we've got J.O. Archer coming uh, up next. So here we go. I, I, it is I time for I, these I, two gentlemen to shine. These guys, they have it. They've been working on it. They're both, I mean, J.O.'s just coming back from a broken femur that he got going to an airbag. He's never been to the landing. I cannot stress how insane this is, that they're going to be hitting a jump. Look at all the crew. You got Josh and all the track crew down there trying to get this just perfect, but it's they can't even hit this ramp to the landing. They're not exactly sure where they're going to land. He's going for a trick where you're so high, where you're strapped on to the motorcycle. If you miss the pop, there's nothing you can do. I am... I, I equally want to walk out and just uh, and just hear about his success as I do want to watch this. We have two uh. riders left to go. We are looking at potential history in the making out here tonight. Who is going to walk away with the win? And will we have a Nitro World Games first? We will find out when we come back to the Suncorp Stadium here in downtown Brisbane for the conclusion of the 2022 Nitro World Games. They are setting up a triple back flip ramp. And they're actually, both of these guys, so like I had a different shoulder hurt than Josh Sheehan. We we're working on the bigger ramp, the different stuff. Um, I had to line up one side. He lined up the other side because, uh, you know, one of our shoulders, one of our arms pulled harder. These guys both have equally messed up left shoulders. So they both pull to the right. Now, what's interesting is they actually are both lining this ramp up 
I mean, they've never gone to this landing. They know about where they land. They know what it's going to take. Um, you know, Harry Bink is going to need to land a little deeper. He likes to spot his rotations. He's going to be a little bit under where J.O. J.O. likes to go and get all of his rotations done. J.O. has a little bit more of a chance to land high on this landing, which is going to give him a softer landing. But he also, if he goes long, which he's not going to know before he hits it, before his first run, um, you know, if he goes long, he's probably at a higher risk of over-rotating. I think they can both do it, but this is, uh, this is their journey, man. Well, you can see him down there talking it over right now, looking it over with Josh Ian and Jackson Strong. But before we get to it, they're getting themselves psyched up right now. Let's take a look at the journey that these two gentlemen have been on trying to chase the triple backflip. land a triple on a hard landing right away from it, it it's awesome I just, it's still sinking in it's such an amazing feeling for starters a massive thanks to travis pastrana and nitro circus for being crazy and having these crazy ideas and and just for all my sponsors for helping me out for getting me sorted with the gear and, and product for allowing me to do what i do so awesome thanks oh and massive thanks to the aussie guys for coming out it just really took the stress away and, and made me feel more at home so it uh, made everything a lot more fun. Shinny is a bogan from Perth that just did the biggest trick in action sports and potentially the craziest stunt that's ever been done. And he is just Joshy, inspiration to the working class man and inspiration to me. Travis set off on this journey, he had no idea how it would end. It was far more difficult than he ever imagined. The hardest part was finding an athlete that could continue where Travis had to stop. Josh Sheehan proved to be the only one in the world with the skill, strength, and heart to match Pastrana's vision. Together, Travis and Josh elevated action sports to a height never before imagined. why anyone want to do this either. I, I was scared to so much going to an airbag, but I tell you what, these guys, um, and if you're wondering why it's taking so long, they're more than seven Gs on the takeoff. They're bending handlebars on the takeoff. So they're basically getting everything out there. Uh, everyone has a specialized trick for, you know, for, for best tricks. And this is what um, I've always encouraged and I've always thought, you know, the guys are going home, they're welding their own stuff, they're building their own stuff. Uh, but this is the only landing that we have big enough to sustain what all these guys are doing. So. Um, they're making sure that ramp is perfect because it's seven G's on the takeoff, um, you know, with 210, 220 pound riders uh, of solid muscle plus 250 pounds of motorcycle. If that lip moves an inch, there, it, it's, it's over. If anything happens, if the, the back of it comes up. So you see these guys, they're taking a little extra time to make sure that. And rightly so. Yeah, I mean, this is the not the thing that you're going to want to rush. No, and I think that's what you see all the other riders. See Josh Sheehan down here. Uh, you, I mean, literally every single person is there making sure like that everything is perfect because, you know, as much as we want to see progression, as much as that's what, you know, Nitro War Games is all about, I, I, I have my reservations and these guys, you know, 
They're going to do it anyway. The landing, it's as safe as you can get. Uh, but these guys have been sitting around all day. They've been watching amazing stuff go down. But the amount of stress, and then also, this is the first time these guys will be doing it at night. So you're pretty blind doing a triple. It rotates so hard. Um, you got to be so perfect. You're hooked in. You're strapped. They're going to strap their toes onto these motorcycles. Um, and when they take off, they go completely black. Can't see anything in the sky. And then they're blinded by the lights. And then, you know, you see the spot the landing for a millisecond. Um, you know, the best part is that J.O., who's going first, doesn't really spot the landing. He rotates as hard as he can, and when he fi finishes his third rotation, you know, he opens up as hard as he can to try to ride out of it. But they still don't know how many Gs, just doing a double, it's the hardest thing to ride out of. So, I mean, just, the, I, I can't even imagine what's going through their, uh, their minds right now because this is, this is by far and away the biggest thing that's ever happened in a competition. I mean, a triple backflip, no-hander won scooters. A scooter weighs 13 pounds. They're going for triple backflips, eight stories in the air, 80 feet in the air, seven Gs on the takeoff, strapped in to their motorcycle, knowing that they both go right a little bit, that the landing is fairly wide, that it does have a little bit of give, but they're coming down from outer space. You can see that the concrete weights that they've got strapped to this thing right there to keep it from moving. And going back to something that you said earlier in the competition, before we even got to J.O. and Harry, uh, you know, they haven't ridden for hours. I mean, once we got competition underway, uh, before we even came on the air out here tonight, these guys have not been able to get out there and just even do some straight jumps just to warm up. So to sit here all night long and wait for this, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm so, so stressed right, right now. now. The, the only great part about this is that you use every ounce of power the, the motorcycle has. You use every ounce of strength that you have. You pull as hard as you can. You don't check for anything. You hold on for what's going to be about a four-second ride. It's going to feel like 30 to these guys. And, and I know they can do it. They are dialed. They are professional. J-Ho has been chopping at the bit for three years. He has done all the research. They have gone through so many renditions of ramps to get it to this point where today is the day that they are going to do something that has never been done in competition. Should it be done? Probably not. But you know what? They're in. The crowd's in. This is absolutely, I mean, dude, my, my butterflies. Stomach it's is butterflies. Down to the final two riders. You saw the history, the evolution of this. Josh Sheehan did it in 2015 at your compound, Travis. And these guys have been chasing this for quite a while. And as you said, history in the making out here tonight as it's never been done in a competition. And you have your final two riders that are chasing history out here tonight. Now, look at the sweat going on. He just wiped his brow with his gloves. I mean, it's something you don't really think about, but he's, you know, there's so much that goes into this. The ramp is ready. You saw Josh right there with uh, uh, the guy with the mullet, right? These guys, they, they put their hearts and soul into building these ramps as well. I mean, everyone is, <laughs> here we go, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the big show. Look at everyone down there with our staff on the field, the people in the stands. Most of them are starting to stand up right now as the enormity of this situation is about to set in. Here we go. You're History. about to see something you've never seen before, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, are we doing speed rounds? What are uh, we doing? I have no idea. I just, my nerve, like the hair on my arms is standing up right now. Either way, this I don't is think Jay is going to take a speed run. He is, uh, he is in. Here we go. He is under power. Uh, nope, speed run. Sizing it up right here, but I, to try to accurately describe the enormity of this moment out here tonight, I mean, it's, it's darn near impossible. I mean, eight, how high in the air are they going? Eight stories. You're dropping eight stories. The landing is three stories tall. If he hits the top, J.O. is going to need to hit close to the top of the ramp. He has no, he has a good idea of where he's going to land, but this is the first time he's going to that landing. This is the most nerve wracking thing I've ever been a part of. It's a one thing to do it in a backyard with your friends, with your good vibes, with all the setup. The nerves in this stadium, and here we go. Here we go. The lights are rolling. The cameras are rolling. Here comes J.O. Come on, J.O. No, okay. You know what? This is one of those things that, uh, this is going outside the books. This is, it's a competition, but this is a stunt. This is, so much gnarly and so much impact and so much rotation everything has to be perfect and if it's not perfect on any one of the steps he's, he's going to the ground now harry's got to watch this harry's got even more stress going on thinking of what he's well, going to do next you could see i mean like he, he was putting his helmet on then he took it off like i mean i can't even imagine you know they looked super calm when they walked up to this thing earlier and they were talking it up with josh when the ramp crew were uh, moving this thing over to get it a little more left like we were talking about getting the scrim on and everything and getting the weights down here we go. All right. You can hear everybody. Come coming. on, everyone on your feet. To Let's go, J.O. Come on. In the stadium. Here we go. He's got good. The tip looks good. It looks Two, good. Three. And He's got it. First try. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Triple backflip. 
Tristan. <laughs> breaking back flip. Oh, perfect. Oh First time around. He just did the impossible, ladies and gentlemen. He stuck it. First time ever off that ramp. The ramp proved it perfect. The setup was perfect. He overcame the nerves. Seven G's of impact. Landed exactly where he needed to land. This roof is about to come down. <laughs> he can't even get up on top of that thing fast enough right now. I can't even imagine what was going through their minds prior to that. Look how just steep this landing it. is. You drop out of the sky vertically. Take a bow, J.O. Look at his eyes right, right now, Travis. I can't even imagine what he's going through, and I'm thinking about this right now. What is Harry going through? I'm sorry not to what? jump ahead, but... No. Listen, I mean, like we were talking right before J.O. went, I mean, he was gearing up and they took his helmet off and he was walking around like, you could see it on both of their faces when you talk about J.O. wiping the sweat from his brow with his glove right there. No, but then your hand's gonna slip off. Yeah. Like, oh, and now this feels like the end of the show and Harry is, oh man, I, I, we see another look at that? Let's oh, see a replay. You're about to get a whole slew of replays, my friend, and I, I can't even imagine the weight that has just that come is, off that of that man's man shoulders. Composed. He did something, I mean, to a landing, sticking it perfect. So, I'm so, J.O., I'm proud of you, buddy. Picture perfect. Oh, that could not have gone better. Look at this. All the nerves, fighting off the G-Force, fighting off everything. Snaps, absolutely perfect. Doesn't spot the landing. Doesn't spot the landing again. Exactly where he knew it was. The ramp set up perfect. The landing was, I think he surprised himself on that landing. He almost forgot how to ride for a second. It was like Chad Young's first backflip. J.O. Archer, the perfect snap. Look at the composure in the rotation there. I, I, I would have never, I'm so happy for him. I'm so proud of him. There's three years to get those three flips around. Everything came together on a perfect night. The crowd stayed till Monday. And he, look at this, look at him pulling everything that he has. Oh, he, he stopped it. That was I, perfect, it's perfect. And look at, I mean, you call, look at the drift right there. He's drifting from rider's left to rider's right. And I mean, you can see the react, I mean, you can see it through the goggles right there. We're here, the ramp through the riders. Out of his head. This, this is the coolest part about action sports is that everyone, top dog right there. I, I mean, he, ah. Uh. Well, let's send it down now to Caroline, who's with the man of the hour. History has been made, and we are down here with J.O. Archer. Talk us through the emotions. Is it relief, the journey, your mind, body? There's been so much that's gone into this process. He's got to put his teeth in, hang on. <laughs> oh, honestly, I cannot describe this feeling. This is so much more than a competition and a trick to me. I've dedicated my whole life for the last three years to doing this. This moment right now, I had a lot of obstacles, a lot of broken bones, a lot of knockouts. But I tell you what, I would do it a hundred times over to relive that again. Thank you, Brisbane! Woo! I'd like to thank Black Rifle Coffee. They're, um, they've been supporting me for over a year now. It's been amazing. I'd like to thank Freeform Action Sports, Joshy Glenn, the whole track crew, all the Nitro team for not giving up on me. This man just here, Josh, he's been with me since the start of this whole triple flip. A lot of people gave up and didn't believe me. He stuck by me the whole way. So I'd like to thank my friends and family. My family are up here watching me. Love you guys. Um, my girlfriend, Beth. Everyone, all the boys, Top Dog, Harry, Southie, everyone, thank you. Congratulations, J.O. It's now time to watch Harry do it. How do you feel about that? He can do it. He can do it. I know he can. Let's go. Thank you. Harry, uh, that is a man that's very well composed after what we just saw I, happen. I, I can't believe how well he executed that top to bottom, handled the nerves like a seasoned champ. But right now, Harry Bink can still win this competition. A triple backflip just went down. The crowd went nuts. Everyone's, and it's not over. I, that's he what landed, I'm trying to wrap he my head around. He landed perfect, but then he got a little, like, whiskey throttle out. Look, just to land a triple backflip is absolutely amazing. But th this competition is, I mean, I can't believe there's two guys that are trying it. I, what is Harry thinking right now? I mean, the whole stadium just shut down when J.O. did this. But J.O. 
shoot, I, Harry can still do this. I, I, I was going to say, I mean, we just witnessed history right here. It's such an intense moment, and we're about to get another one right now. And, I, and you know, what about the judges right now? If, you know, two triple back was like, how, I mean, they're going to have to, like, literally look at the minutia between the two to try to differentiate. There, there's, no, there's nothing less on the line. There's no less risk because someone else was able to pull it off. Hopefully that vibe will help Harry to be able to do this. Uh, Harry's approach is completely different, though. Um, he's going to take a couple backflips to get warmed up before he does the triple. I think that's a, a really smart move. Uh, he's had to actually send the doubles so big because when you're doing the triple, you need every bit of throttle. And if he doesn't power through, he won't land in the spot that he needs to. So this is a really smart attempt. You can't even straight jump this jump and get to where you need to. So he's warming up with double flips to test the distance. That's absolutely insane that we're at that point, but it, that's just, it's a different approach right there. And, and we're going to give him the opportunity to do what he needs to do to shine out here tonight. This is a little bit different from Nitro World Games compared to like an X Games or something else. This is about progression. And whenever it takes for that progression to be as safe as we can possibly make it, to be as successful as we can possibly make it, if riders need different ramps, different landings, if they build it themselves, here we go. Harry Vick warming up with a double backflip. And, and to see how he does that and how casually, I mean, again, going back to the history books that we were talking about earlier, I mean, with you and the double flip in 2006, look at where we're at now that you can just casually send one of those. And actually, so, it's a warm up. So Harry's going to need to go further than that to pull off the triple, but it's hard to get wide open that hard uh, off the throttle only, I shouldn't say only doing two, but when you do a double backflip, even a laid out double backflip, he has a tendency to probably let off a little bit to not over spin it with a ramp that's that steep. Um, unfortunately, I'd say if Harry ends up that high on the landing ramp, the way he's been doing, he's been spotting the landing, slowing down the rotation, he's got a better chance of landing smoothly, but he's going to have to get further down the landing. See, he's got to get it deeper down there. There's Clinton Moore and J.O. Archer. J.O. There's Pat Bowden, multiple time uh, World Games champion. I'd be surprised if Harry actually goes for this again, um, only because if he lands any shorter, he's going to bounce to the bottom. Uh, but you, you never know. Whatever Harry needs, he's going to take it. Um, and a crowd's back on their feet. That's, that's too much for me. I'm about to have a heart attack. I, up the here. intensity right now in this building, I mean, it's, it's indescribable. I mean, all the fans down there, everybody's on their feet. I mean, you've literally gotten everybody that have come out of the production offices, all the security staff, everybody here at the Suncorp Stadium. I mean, I mean, they've seen the Instagram clips, and I mean, we've kind of told that story a little bit. We've been teasing it, and to see it happen and come to fruition out here tonight under the lights, especially all right. after all the weather and everything else that we've gone through, and to see that finally happen out here with one more attempt at it by Harry Pink. Don't here say tonight. one more. Here we go. Look, our Willie is up there in the crowd, getting everyone fired up. He's hooking his feet in. I tell you, even doing a, a double flip attempt to a bag, you're always thinking like where your feet are. Like this position, here we go. Harry Bank, lining up. Double. That's where he needs to land. All right, he got it. So he needed, he needed to get that a little bit further. Um, so we have, J.O. basically has spent the better parts of three years. After um, Josh Sheehan did the triple, everyone's like, well, it's still the same amount of risk. I'm not going to do that again. We're never going to be able to get that in competition. And J.O. came to all the guys at Black Rifle and said, you know what, um, help me. Came to Nitro guys, came to, came to, I mean, everyone. It went to, um, went to Harry Bink's house, set the ramp up. And Harry saw it and he goes, this is possible. And, uh, you know, Harry even coming in right now, Harry has a couple broken ribs, still not fully healed. Uh, but when he saw the opportunity to do this and he gave it a shot and it came around, he said, there's no way I can't. He goes, this is a moment that I have to be a part of. Look at our Willie, just, just revving the crowd up. Uh, the emotions right now are so high, but there's such a good vibe. If he can get the distance that he did on that last one, Harry is gonna stick this and ride this thing out. Um, he had one bad jump in practice when he just didn't quite get um, everything that he needed off of it. I mean, look at these, these, are, these guys are huge. They are strong. They're bending handlebars on the takeoff. And you can see right there his gloves. He wants, he's sweating through the gloves. Um, yeah. And if, if you, you sweat through the gloves, it's slick. And if you pull off the handlebars, your feet are stuck to a 250 pound machine and that's, that's it. So, um, you know, everything trying to get perfect, getting himself pumped up. Harry does good mad. He does good when, when he's just absolutely on the brink of berserk. The crowd is on their feet. Uh, listen and he's to that there. out there right now. This is what he needs. He needs that energy. I think he's got this. But he's got to get deep. He's got to go all out, all or nothing. And it looks so like he's ready. That's the key you're saying is the deeper in the landing right there on the, on the resi. 
Yeah, Drew, yeah, with resi. It doesn't feel like a resi from 80 feet in the air, that's for sure. These, the landing is so tall, the takeoff so tall that it doesn't look like they're that high, but here he goes. He's psyched up, he's ready, he's coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, whole new modification to the bike. It is lighter, it is better. He's hooking his feet in. There here he goes. We go. Harry Bink. Keep it straight, Harry. Down and just he pulled that around so so well just got a little bit uh, sideways on that that landing just a little bit under rotated sucked uh, honestly if that was a dirt landing I think he probably would have ridden out uh, just didn't quite have the distance that I feel like he's going to need to get that you'd love to see him move the ramp a couple feet in I know Harry can get on the gas a little harder but as high as you go you go another couple feet up for every you know half foot in distance for how high he dropped out of the sky on that and just kind of slid out of that and bounced right back. I mean, you just watched a person do a triple backflip on a dirt bike and then bounce right back up. Fall from outer space. I'm sorry that I didn't talk at all during that. I, my it's heart, is, I, I can't. I, this is something, and Harry's going to go again, and that bike is going to be a little bit bent. If it's bent at all, as hard as they're pulling, it's really easy to go right. It's really easy to go left. He knows he needs about two more feet in distance forward, which is about four more feet in distance up. He's going to be going higher. Um, you know, I, I'm just happy he's walking away from this right now, and I, I know he's not walking away. He's going to be hitting this again. Yeah, I, I'm still I'm absolutely blown away by how quickly he was able to slide out of that and get right back up. So Harry fighting through right now, just getting over a couple broken ribs, still not 100%. Um, his hand, uh, it doesn't look like it right there, but his hand is, is broken, and he doesn't care. He's going for this. Look, did not quite get the greatest snap, but pulls it around so tight. It, it, everything looked really, really good on that. You look at him pull that bike and look at the strength that it takes. We're gonna take two more looks at it right here from that angle right there. You can see the snap that he, I mean, look how high he is in the air on that rotation. I mean, his snap was just a little stripper. Watch how small he gets in this tight ball, gets that thing around. It, it was so close to perfect, but he just didn't have quite enough time to open up on that landing. Luckily, he got from that height, he got all of the suspension. Uh, he got landed pretty much exactly like, if he just gets another three feet in distance, a little further down that landing, he'll have a second to open up. The amount of impact, the amount of G-forces that he's been taking into this, and as beat up as Harry is, the fact that he's even riding is absolute testament to just how much this means. You know, it's not about doing something first. It's about doing it. He doesn't care. Exactly. Metal, no metal. Harry wants this for him. He wants to be the man that was able to overcome all the fears, was able to put it together, and was able to land it in competition. This is absolutely amazing. Hell yeah, Harry. Here we go. Going to give it attempt number two. You see Ryan Williams over there giving a little extra motivation right there. All right. Now, Whew. so when your bike is bent up at all, which I'm sure there's no way that it's not, you can't land from that high. Um, you know, people are like, oh, why, why didn't he just ride that out or how did it slide out? The, the amount of inertia that you have from a single backflip compared to a double backflip, you say you multiply uh, the energy as, as well as the difficulty by three for every flip. So, you know, this is nine times more difficult than a, than a backflip, which in 2000 we thought was completely impossible. And here these guys are warming up with laid out double backflips. And this is what concerns me a little bit. He's getting his bars straight. Like, he had a hard time getting around when everything was perfect. He knows he has to go a couple feet deeper. His bars are a little bit bent, which means he's probably gonna go a little bit right or a little bit left, depending on which side's down. Um, all these things are weighing through, and he's sweating. He's got, um, you know, he had sweaty palms on the first one. Now he's got all these nerves, he's got all this adrenaline, and he's gotta figure out how to calm that down. Harry does a good job when he's not calmed down. To be fair, he does probably better when he's angry, pissed off, and right now, uh, that's probably where he is. Yeah, just, well, how do you control the emotion for something like this? Try, especially on your second attempt, after going through that the first time around, but here we go, the goggles are back on, and you can see that his body language is getting a little more animated right now, so he's getting in that space that we saw before the first attempt right there. He's getting a little mad right there, starting to psych himself up, so here we go, Travis. Here we go, two. on a positive note, I've never seen Harry over-rotate this. He's gonna need all the anger, he's gonna need all the energy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, get on your feet! This man is about to try his second triple backflip of the night. Okay, here we go. Line it back up for this one. And as you say that, you can see everyone, at least on, from our viewpoint over there on the far side of the stadium, up and out of their seats right here. 
He's got to get that, that perfect level of full adrenaline and ideal timing. Uh, you see, look at his bike. He cut all the knobbies off. He wanted that whole front. He wanted everything to be as light as possible. Here he comes. Can he master his inner demons? Can he figure out how to forget about all the pain that he's in? And can he launch this absolutely perfect on his second attempt? Here we go. Here we go. He's under power. For the second time, Nina Charm. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Twice. Perfect. Oh! Hell yeah, Harry. We've seen it not once but twice out here tonight. Are that, you kidding me? That was good. That landing was perfect. That was did we just see a triple, well, we saw a triple backflip is gonna lose this event. Which one is going to win? I, I, it do, I does it matter even, if you did it first? Does it matter if you crashed on the first one? That landing was perfect. His takeoff was perfect. He was not sideways. Ne neither one of these athletes honestly care if we win this competition. I, not at all. I, I can't even process the emotion that both of them are going through right now, knowing that they've done it and it's over. I mean, the pressure going into this and going back to what we said earlier, I mean, they haven't been able to ride at all, not even practice jumps at all, for about six hours now. No amount of money is worth what they just did. No amount of fame or glory. These boys did it because they love what they do. They push the envelope. They figured out a way. I, I've been telling these guys from day one, do not come into these triple. Do not do it in competition. And they both said they could, and they proved themselves right. And me wrong, they are the men. I mean, and with bent handlebars. I mean, it, look how bent that is. Look how straight he's going. Perfect. Could Money. not be any better. If that's not a hundred, if that is not a perfect hundred, I'm walking out. Somebody's getting a strongly worded letter from Travis if that's not a hundred in the judges booth. Oh my god, I can't believe you've seen it twice tonight. I, I'm I'm so relieved. Twice! I'm so proud of these guys. I'm so proud. Look at the track crew. Look at the riders. Look at the fans. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all the support. Look at that bike was already overheating when he took oh. off and he took the radiator off the thing. Just, he can't believe it either. It was perfect. It was perfect form. It was perfect Boom. execution. It was, I mean, that, that he landed that triple like he was landing a single flip on like his first ever try. This was absolutely unbelievable. Look, you got the BMXers, you got R. Willie, you got the scooter riders. This was the greatest day, greatest single half hour in action sports history. I, I'm just proud to be in some way, shape, or form just here, to be a part of this, see where Nitro World Games has come. Well, Thank you, boys. Let's send it down to Caroline one more time while the judges sort this one out. Caroline? What a fairy tale night to not just have one, but two. Your friends, you've trained together, your compound is down the road. What has the journey been like to get here? Oh, it's crazy. I can't really put it into words. I've dreamed of a moment like this. Since I was a little kid, I watched Trav. I was in year six at school when Trav did the first double backflip, and I remember watching that over and over, thinking that I'd never live a moment like that. And to do that, like, in front of all my idols that I never thought I'd meet, it is a dream come true. And the physicality, we have seen it online. We know you work hard. What has gone into that preparation? Uh, it actually, I actually only started riding. Like, I learned this trick last week for the first time. So uh, my stress levels were just through the roof. Uh, man, I just I, I was in a really dark place before this just because I, I didn't have good flow state going and I couldn't even work out in the gym properly. Man, it's just, uh, I'm proud of myself for not giving up. And yeah, uh, hey, Joe, you're a legend. You stole that, man. Well done. <laughs> you have made history, both of you. Congratulations. You've done it. Thank you. Well, you heard him saying he didn't think he would have that moment. Well, guess what? Harry Bing, that moment has arrived here in Brisbane in 2022, and it's arrived for both him as well as J.R. Travis. We saw history out here tonight, not once, but twice. Every, every, every event, but I mean, this is, I can't even explain the amount of time, the amount of effort. And yeah, so let, let's compare these jumps though, because th today we're going to have to make, so, I mean, the judges are going to have to decide which triple backflip loses. I, I, is that? <laughs> I, I, I you, can't imagine, I can't believe that sentence just came out of your mouth. So now look, J.O., the form's perfect, everything's perfect. He does it as a different form than Harry. Harry seemed a little bit more in control, but J.O. lands exactly where he needs to, and he 
just gets a little loose on that landing. But think about this, Harry didn't land the first time. If J.O. had a second run, would it have been as dialed as, as Harry's? But I mean, look at this. He's got his right bar is bent down. He's got a broken hand. He's got broken ribs. He's got an overheating motorcycle that's smoking because he cut off the radiator and he landed it perfect. The amount of G-forces that they have to sustain on that landing, and these guys are the strongest human beings on, on every ride a motorcycle. Oh, so now it all comes down to the judges talking. You know, it, doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. This is the first competition I've ever been at. <laughs> I they both win. I do, yes. <laughs> Can we give out two gold medals, Trev? I mean, I can't believe that we're saying that someone's going to do the triple flip and they're actually going to have to settle for second place. And Harry Bing with a 99 knocking on the door. Perfection right there. He is going to get the win out here in FMX Best Trick. Absolutely unbelievable. J.O. Archer landing at first. Harry Bink crashing the first one, hitting the second one absolutely flawlessly. And uh, both wa walking away. Honestly, this is a win for Action Sports. It's a win for FMX. It's a win for Harry, uh, for J.O., for, <laughs> for everyone that witnessed this thing, and for all of the, the track crew and those guys that support them. These track crew weren't our normal track crew. They were these guys' buddies that all took off work to make sure that it was dialed in. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for two superhumans up there, both landing triple backflips today. I mean, even they're, they're sponsors, they're, they're friends. They're, how many people it took to make this a success? And they're flat will, they're J.O. Archer, or sorry, uh, uh, Top Dog, third place. These guys all really, really good friends. All trained together, all worked together, all welded in ramps and building stuff and working at the compound. And uh, you know, kind of like our Willie Land, these guys are why the sport is progressing so far. And I'm just, I'm an honored to have watched tonight go down. I mean, it's an epic finish to the night out here. I mean, we've shown the video pieces all night long. We've talked about the journey starting with Josh Ian back in 2015 and with what these two have gone through over the last several years and going back to talking about J.O. and the amount of injuries and, and just the, the grit, the determination and that never give up attitude that brings you to that moment. And then here, inside a stadium packed full of fans, not to mention the weather and everything else that we've had to overcome this entire week long to make this happen. You know, hey, shout out to the fans. Uh, you know, 2020 was canceled. They stuck with us. They came back. It rains Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they, they are back. You know, over 10,000 people took off another day on Monday. Thank you all for coming out. To, to watch this. I just cannot believe there was a competition in a motorcycle competition that a triple backflip did not win. Oh, look at Kiefer Wilson from Skateboard Vert out there hanging out, giving Harry some congratulations. I mean, ah, this, I, I, my head still can't fully process and comprehend what we've seen out here tonight on multiple levels. I mean, we've had six amazing competitions, but in the end, you see two guys come out here and throw down triple backflips. Scott Fitzgerald walks out of here with the bronze with that 89.33. JL Archer sends it first with a 98.33, but after a failed first attempt, Harry Bink comes back with bent handlebars at all, Travis, and puts it down picture perfect and walks out of here with a 99 flat to get the win in FMX Best Trick. Absolutely amazing. Then you got, I mean, Josh Sheehan off the podium. I feel like Josh, he had an amazing day, but Clint Moore, Adam Jones, American, not in last. There we go. Let's go down to Micah for the awards. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> Speechless. That was one of the wildest things I have ever seen. Australia, can I get some noise for this incredible event? Did you believe what happened? And let's discuss our best trick podium. In third place, make some noise for Scott Fitzgerald, top dog. In second place, landing the first triple backflip ever done in public. Give it up for J.O. Archer! And our winner, gaining the highest score of any competitor in Nitro World Games history. Make some noise for Harry Bink! That is amazing. You're amazing to be on that podium. How about some noise for this unbelievable podium? How about 
awesome shoeies. What do you guys think of this podium? Are you impressed? And our Lego City Innovation winner, our prize goes to the very first ever done triple backflip. Give it up for J.O. Archer! And now a word from our winner. I got second, brother. You won the best one. You know what? It's been a pretty good night, Brizzy, but there's something I want to do to make it a little bit fucking better. Beth! It's a bit too... Will you marry me? Another Nitro World Games first, our first ever podium proposal right there. So how about that surprise finish right there? J.O. Archer making history out here tonight alongside Harry Bink and then throwing another curveball into the mix with the proposal as well. And he walks out of here with our Lego City Innovation Award in FMX Best Trick. I I am at an absolute loss for words after what we've seen out here tonight and how we finished out here as the boys are preparing to do shoeies right there on the podium. And a big thank you to all of our competitors making it out here, all of the podium finishers. Thank you to the fans for coming back out here and braving through the rain to come back out here for the contingency night. History was made out here and we thank you guys for waiting for three years for the Nitro World Games to return. And thank you, Brisbane and Queensland, for playing host out here inside the iconic Suncorp Stadium. That is a wrap for us. Don't forget, you can get, check out all the replays at nitroworldgames.com. 